of staying in front. I'll, I'll be here for the most part. First, I'd like to just thank everybody for, for making it here today. Uh, I'm, I'm the mayor, yes. The mayor of what? Of Cranberry. Of Cranberry here. So uh, that's uh, why I'm extra happy that you're here. Well, thanks very much. And again, I'm Dave Crook, Mayor. Nice to meet you, Mrs. White. Well, I'm very happy because I actually grew up here as well. Uh, I've been here since I was four, essentially. And I uh, spent a lot of time out here in this park, uh, too. And I know that uh, the bride has, Elizabeth has as well, a lot of wonderful stories, which we won't get into at this moment. But it, it really is a pleasure for me to... Oh, you've heard all of that already? All right. All right. Well, we know that then now, right? <laughs> So what I'd like to do now is do something very special uh, for me, and that will be uh, marry both Elizabeth and Drury uh, together today. So uh, why don't we go ahead and do that. And uh, I'll start first, but I have to make this official, so that's why the language may sound a little bit stilted. But I'd like to say first that uh, dear family and friends, we've gathered together here at this time to share in the joy and the love of Elizabeth and Drury. Each of you has given something of yourself to help them become who they are, and each of you will have the opportunities to give more to them to, nu to nurture their new relationship. May the love and affection that has brought them to this point continue to be a blessing to them and a blessing to all of us. Thank you for joining in the celebration of this special event. Now, the marriage contract is the most cherished contract. This solemn agreement between Elizabeth and Drury has permanent legal standing, and we are serving as witnesses to it. By means of this ceremony, <coughs> excuse me, Elizabeth and Drury will become united in a special new way. <coughs> to this moment, they bring the fullness of their hearts to share with one another. They bring the dreams which bind them together in spirit. They bring their individuality which will be preserved, but out of which will emerge their life together. So Elizabeth, I'd like to say to you, and then you can answer with I do. Elizabeth, will you have this man to be your husband? to live together with him in covenant of marriage? Will you love him and comfort him in honor and keep him, in both sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? Drury, to you. Drury, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together with her in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Now, Drury, I'd like you to face Elizabeth, and if you'll say, and repeat after me, if you will. I, Drury, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. I, Drury, take you, Elizabeth, to be my wife. To have and to hold to from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse. For better or worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. And to love and cherish until death do you part. To love and to cherish until death do you part. Now, Elizabeth, I'd like you to say and repeat after me to Drury, I, Elizabeth, take you, Drury, to be my husband. I, Elizabeth, take you, Drury, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. For better or worse, for richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. And to love and to cherish until death do you part. Now each of you brings a, a symbol of your love for each other. These rings shall be forevermore a symbol of the love that you have declared and the vows that you have exchanged. The unbroken circles of these rings represent the special faithfulness that you have pledged to each other. So Elizabeth, I'd like you to take the ring. <clears throat> okay, someone can hold her flowers. Okay. And if you'll hold her, you know, it, it, it starts with the, the bride. Yes, and I'd like you to say to Drewy, Drewy, I give you this ring as a symbol of my vow. Drewy, I give you this ring as a symbol of our vow. And with all that I am and all that I have, all that I am and all that I have, I honor you. I honor you. Yeah, if you'll give Drewy his ring. Drewy, if you'll say after me, 
Elizabeth, I give you this ring. Elizabeth, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my vow. And with all that I am. And all that I have. I honor you. You kissed her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody ever messed that part up. <laughs> Now in conclusion, now that Elizabeth and Drewy have given themselves to each other by solemn vows, and with the joining of hands, and the giving and receiving of rings, and with all of you as witnesses, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. May all of us present today remember that we have seen and witnessed, and may each of us do everything within our powers to support and strengthen Elizabeth and Drewy as their journey together in the road of life. Could we have another kiss, please? Yes, 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 y